Let's take a look at the next problem. It says the specific absorption, absorption rate for a cell phone measures the amount of radio frequency energy absorbed by the user's body when using the handset. Every cell phone emits RF energy. Different phone models have different SAR measures. To receive certification from the FCC for sale in the U.S., the SAR level for a cell phone must be no more than 1.6 watts per kilogram. So here's a table below that shows the highest SAR level for a random selection of cell phone models as measured by the FCC. We want to find the 98% confidence interval for the true population mean of the specific absorption rates for cell phones. So we have to assume that the standard deviation is 0.337. Let's write down what information we know. We're going to start here. So the first thing that we need is we need the sample mean. And um, the way you do that is you would add up all of these and then divide by the total number. So there are 110, there's 30. So the sample size n is 30. And I already added all these up and calculated them. And the mean is 1.0. 024. We know that our standard deviation is 0.337. The confidence level is 0.98. So now that we have this information, let's grab our trusty calculators and come over. All right, so if you recall, we go to stat, we go over to test, down to the Z interval. We're gonna make sure that this is on stats. Then we're gonna enter in our information. We want it to calculate. So the confidence interval is point, let's say 0.88 and 1.17. So that would be our answer.